My co-founder Anson and I started Strive in January of 2022 with a simple mission. Depoliticize corporate America. And in part, do it by representing the voices of everyday Americans who want to send that message to corporate America with their money. Unfortunately, there's a problem that's emerged in this country over the last decade. And it's that large financial institutions, including large asset managers, are using the money of everyday American citizens to advance controversial social, cultural, and political agendas in corporate America's boardrooms that many of those everyday citizens actually disagree with, and in many cases, which don't even advance their best financial interests. And the thing is, there are important social and political questions that we do need to grapple with and address. But those questions are so important that we need to do it in a civic space where everyone's voice and vote counts equally. That's actually what can actually unify us, a commitment to that vision, by in part telling corporations to stay out of it, to tell asset managers and financial institutions to stay out of it. And if we're able to achieve that purpose in the private sector, I think we do two things in this country. The first is we allow companies and market actors to be the best version of themselves, not to be distracted by social or political objectives so that companies can be good at doing what companies should do make products and services for people who need them, and yes, make money doing it, as part of the best known system known to mankind to lift people up from poverty. And yes, that is the system of American free market capitalism. A diverse democracy often is not supposed to stand or last for a long time unless there is that space that holds us together across our identitarian or political differences. And that too is part of what American capitalism provides. So we at Strive are and have been and will remain on a mission to restore integrity to American capitalism by telling companies on behalf of everyday shareholders in the American economy to focus on their products and services, to focus on excellence over politics. But that doesn't mean that each of us isn't a citizen in our own right. And I hope that each of you, and I, can, I will commit doing the same myself as well as citizens, to engage in the civic process, to engage in the political process, remembering that in that sphere, our voices count equally regardless of how many dollars we control in the marketplace. And if we're able to get that right, to let capitalism be capitalism, to let democracy be democracy, then I'm optimistic that for our country, our best days are actually still ahead of us and that both of those are part of what it means to be an American today. That's really what the heart and soul of Strive is all about. And I think that if we can restore the power of both capitalism and democracy, we have a lot to look forward to in the 21st century, which I think can be yet another great American century again. Thanks very much, and we look forward to having you for the journey.